Hello YouTube, Jaden Mon 2005 here with the review of the Juden Sentai Kuro Yujer Xander Thunder, right? Kuro Yu Gold's uh, personal weapon. Right, it's this nifty little sword device here on, on our box. We see mm -hmm. Kuro Yu Gold. Um, we see the sword right there. We see Food Divine Battery number 23, which it comes with. We see lights and sounds are here. The name of the logo up top, Gabarincho and him. Oh, let's turn the box on the side. We see Xander Thunder, right? Um, on this side, we see the box contents again, and him with the sword on the back. This is a long box. We see how to work it. Like you open it, you put batteries in there. It does things for one, two, or three batteries. Zan, Zanda, Zanda, Thunder. Um, and then use the battery with your other toys. All right, we got that. And then you can use it to push a button on the. Gaburi changer that you can push yourself if you have a second hand. So that's a thing. Alright, so let's get it in here. Alright, Xander Thunder. So here's the sword. Um, it's got a trigger. It's got this lever that you use to activate after you put the batteries in. Uh, the light is right here. It's got this little short handle that's... I mean, it's it's short, but it's you can hold it. It's easy to hold with one hand. Uh, Xander Thunder written on this side. Um, there's a button like this on each side. You hold them together and it opens. On the back is the speaker and the on off switch. Um, this is just like red plastic. Um, and then the lightning on the other side. When I open it, three battery slots. When you stick a battery in, let's use this one, it pushes this little red piece. That's what tells it there's a battery in there. And it pushes in one of these, which tells it how many batteries are there. All right. Okay. So let's get the battery it comes with, which is oops, number 23. Futabine, right, with a battery that multiplies you. So we can see it's like this gray silvery color here. Um, it's got the Futabasaurus, which it's based on right there. Um, and then, of course, the little outline. It will glow in the dark. Uh, it looks like it's a, kind of an uh, aquatic dinosaur, kind of like uh, a little bit similar to Plesson's Plesiosaurus, but not quite. Uh, the 23 plus and minus and the pins here. In the back, Futabine. And then I keep dropping it, and then when I push the button, we got like the shiny version looking like this. You can see the little flippers and everything. So, got a revolver. Food to bite. Bye. Let's grab Paris again. We don't use him very often for things. So we get bite bite. Okay, so let's pop those out. Behind Parasagon. Alright, so um, the next thing we're going to do with the battery is unhook that. Uh, Kuro Yujin, real quick, and see what the sounds Futabai makes. Alright, so uh, Stagochi, Drykara. Oh, 
divide in there. So we get that fun noise. That's that's an interesting sound. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll get Cure Eugen out of here. Thanks for your help, Cure Eugen. Uh, your services are no longer needed at the moment, as we're in weapon territory, not mecha territory. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and turn this on. It lights up. It makes this sound if I click the trigger. If I pull this forward with nothing in it, it makes that weird sound. So let's go ahead and put a battery in. Where's my terror Oh yeah, let's put the batteries up. Because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So we're just going to stick it in. Alright, Terra Gordon. Doesn't matter what battery, it has no reader or anything. Close it up. Alright, Gabarincha, and then I pull this forward. It makes one sound. Zan. Alright, so that's what's going to do with one. I'm going to add a second battery to the mix. Let's go ahead and toss Fruit to in there because he's next to me. Doesn't matter what battery you use. So. Again, and then now I'm going to pull it. So I get double sounds. Zanda! Right, let's grab a third battery. Let's grab Gabbage here. He's a cool guy. Three sounds, and I get this. So I get his super D duper finish, and it goes back to this when I click that. And I can reactivate it by just hitting the lever. Let's go ahead and do that. To pull them out, you just reach in and click them out. There's nothing, you know, special about it. You have to hit any kind of special release or anything. Um, now, activating the other button on the Gaburi changer, you'll notice this is how the bottom of the handle looks. This is how the Gaburi changer looks. You just line it up and hit the button. And, I mean, it's that simple. Um, it's even kind of shaped. I don't know if I can turn it so you can see it. There you go. See? And so it'll fit right over the button. I'm not going to do it. I pushed that button in the review for the Gaburi changer, so I'm not going to... Um, okay, I had to turn it off. I'm not going to bother doing it again. It just seems kind of silly and pointless. So here we go. Uh, food to bind battery and the sword. It's a decent sized sword, actually. Um, but, excuse me. I feel like it's a little bit... Um, about better of a size than we normally get. Um, although the handle's a bit smaller, um, I think it, it, it's fine. You know, it has a few sounds. You can do the different things one battery, two battery, three batteries. And it is, you know, kind of like a, a Pteranodon beak type thing. So it, it's pretty cool. Um, I like it. If you like Cure You Gold, definitely pick it up. Um, it will get you, um, like we see, the Futubine, um, the Futubine battery. Um, you know, if you're not interested in the battery, uh, then obviously you can go ahead and skip it. You know, you don't, you know, I don't know how you could not like Koryu Gold, but if you don't, you know, then um, there's no real point in getting it because, like, I'm buying something for a guy I don't like, and then you can just get the food to buy and probably in some kind of candy toy or gash upon set or something. Um, but, you know, you, if you want it, you like gold, you get a cool battery with it that you wouldn't normally get uh, any other way, uh, you know, without, you know, at the moment, I guess. I don't, I forget what's in what set. But, uh, so yeah, until next time, check out the podcast. Rise Rangers and Rambles bringing you the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.